Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're reacting to, uh, it says why we don't shoot nuclear waste into space. This should be a pretty straightforward answer. Obviously, we don't want it coming down. Um, so let's see what they have to say. Uh, and if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and recommend me more videos to react to in the link in the description. And yeah, let's start. The limited edition 12,023 Kurzgesagt calendar is here. Every purchase enables us to make videos free for everyone. So get one for yourself or a loved one and be a sponsor of the following video. I think Eternal I can gratitude skip here, from right? us and all the burbs around the world. Here in the Kurzgesagt labs, we test very important ideas to see what happens when you blow things up or play with black holes. Many of you suggested that we look into an idea that sounds reasonable. Shooting nuclear waste into space. It's one of those What's concepts that, that seems that? like an easy fix for one of the main problems with nuclear energy. But it turns out this idea is not just bad, but horribly bad. And it gets worse the longer you think about it. Why is that? I don't know. Now, I know it's a bad idea, definitely. But let's see how bad of an idea it is. What is nuclear waste? Nuclear waste is a fuzzy term and comes in categories which vary from country to country. But in general, there are three broad levels. 90% is low-level nuclear waste, tools, gloves, or trash used at a nuclear facility that could be weakly contaminated with some short-lived radioactivity. This stuff is generally safe for normal disposal. 7% is intermediate-level nuclear waste, mostly materials that have been in close proximity to a reactor core long enough to become dangerously radioactive. With proper handling, it's either safely buried or melted down and mixed into glass or concrete and stored deep underground. Yeah, so I saw the video about of that. nuclear waste is similar to toxic byproducts from other industries. Not great, not terrible. We can handle it. The remaining 3% is where our problems begin. High-level nuclear waste is very concentrated spent fuel taken out of a reactor core. Formerly uranium, it's now made of various dangerous and often highly radioactive elements. Only 3%. As a bonus, it's also incredibly hot and not easy to handle at all. This is what we want to shoot into space. All in all, around 440 active nuclear reactors create about 11,000 tons of high-level nuclear Sheesh. waste each year. Since 1954, we've accumulated 400,000 tons of dangerous radioactive waste. Most countries are dealing with it by not dealing with it and kicking the can towards the future. Great. Oh so, yeah, bro, I saw Finland did, um, they had these uh, metal, like, uh, cylinders and they'd put all the waste inside and then they'd seal it super shut and then they'd bury it like more than six feet underground those things were huge bro but then I was wondering like in the future some like archaeologist or some explorer is gonna be like yo I just found the tomb of President Trump or this or this and then they go open it up it's nuclear waste and they all die so the the best way i just don't want it on earth at all so i don't know bearing it isn't really my favorite but it works so let's, let's keep doing space. it according to scientists space is big and nobody lives there so it seems perfect for yeeting away this mess there are a few tiny problems though it's Some gonna come down i already told you cheap. Even though space flight is getting more affordable, it's still extremely expensive. Bro, we Just make all the money. We can afford that. It costs Don't worry. Average about four thousand dollars per kilogram. Putting that into perspective, it costs about one thousand six hundred dollars to mine, separate, and fabricate one kilogram of nuclear fuel. So launching waste into space has suddenly made nuclear fuel for reactors way more expensive, and greatly increased the cost of the electricity they produce. To launch one reactor's worth of nuclear waste would cost at least $100 million per year. To deal with all the 440 operational nuclear power plants' high-level nuclear Damn. waste would cost some $44 billion per year for space launch before packaging, transport, and security costs are added. Well, let's just make more money. Okay, more money. Spread it out. Currently, 
We couldn't shoot all the nuclear waste into space even if we wanted to. There just aren't enough rockets. In 2021, oh. we saw a record 135 launches into space. If we repurposed each of those rockets and filled them all with nuclear waste, the total amount that could be lifted into a low Earth orbit, which is the closest orbit above the atmosphere, is nearly 800 tons. We'd need at least 14 times more rockets to handle just today's nuclear waste, let alone get rid of the hundreds of thousands of tons in temporary storage. We would wow. need to create entire new space industries to keep up with the demand for giant top. I, at this point, bro, I think I give up. Uh, this just broke my heart. I was like motivated a little bit, like, oh, we're gonna see nuclear shot into space, like this and this. Nah, we're not gonna see that at all. Hey, uh, I think it's time to find something that eats nuclear, some sort of um bacteria that eats nuclear because this stuff is not is not leaving earth at all six space trash trucks. oh man that's crazy and it gets worse problem two Ugh. space is hard we only made the calculation for low earth orbit where we send most of our rockets and satellites littering the space around earth with thousands of casks of spent nuclear fuel would be a nightmare for space junk management and satellite collision avoidance that's the worst come still, back down this altitude there's still a little bit of atmosphere causing a tiny bit of drag, so we might have nuclear waste raining down from space within just a few years. Experts <laughs> would call this a huge problem. Clearly, we have to launch our waste further. If we wanted to send it to, perhaps, the moon, we either need way more rockets, or we need to build much bigger ones, making it even more expensive. A single Saturn V, the rocket used by the Apollo program, which cost around 1.5 billion adjusted for inflation per launch, could get about 43.5 tons from the Earth to the moon. So we'd need about 260 Saturn V rocket launches every year. And of course, using the moon as target practice for nuclear waste tipped rockets kind of makes a huge mess. So maybe don't aim for anything. 1.5 billion for a rocket is crazy. Target. I think I might want to be an astronaut. In any random now. direction is, you guessed it, also a bad idea. Orbits are loops, which means they have a tendency to come back to where they started. Put enough in the sky in random directions, and you'll get one back eventually. So we'd want to launch our nuclear waste deep into space, which means we need even bigger rockets that would be even more expensive. Yeah, but no one's building that. Safe then. No one's building these this. Planetary caskets at some time in the far future, and experience a pretty meteor shower made from radioactive dust. Okay, how about we shoot it into the sun? Ironically, yeah, the sun we're not even is that close. While the sun has very strong gravity, everything on Earth is moving with respect to the sun, including the rockets that we launch. Meaning a rocket would have to cancel out all the orbital motion it has around the sun so it can stop orbiting and fall in. Because of this, it's actually easier to launch a rocket entirely out of the solar system than it is to launch it into the sun. But to do either of these things, we need even bigger rockets, probably the biggest yeah. we've ever built. No one will build these, though, that's the problem. Yeah. The thing is, it gets even worse. Problem three. Rockets go brrr. Rocket engineering has taken huge steps since the Apollo era. We've made I need Tesla safe. rockets, bro. We've mostly replaced the toxic explosive cancer fuels of the past decades with much saner mixes of liquid oxygen and hydrogen or kerosene. The newest designs even land themselves so that they can be reused. And yet, mm, out bad. of the 146 launches in 2021, there were 11 failures. Which means that a sizable number of our rockets carrying high-level radioactive waste would be exploding on the launch pad, or in the worst case, disassembling at high altitude, or crashing from hypersonic speeds. Each failure would be at least a And I'd hate to, to be that one level, person who was hit by one of these nuclear of bullets or whatever. ...spread throughout the atmosphere. Radioactive particles could make their way to faraway places by riding on the winds. Most would fall into the ocean, but some would land on the inhabited parts of the world. They could cover farmlands and get concentrated into our food or enter our water supply. Which is, well, uh. bad. Imagine regular large scale <laughs> nuclear disasters happening. People wouldn't be happy. Could so, what are the solutions? What, like, what do we do? Nuclear waste um. is scary, but the fear of it 
and horrible ideas like shooting it into space reveals how bad we are at understanding risk because the largest amounts of radioactive elements like uranium and radon are actually released by coal. Burning millions of tons of coal each year leaves ash as a waste product that includes about 36,000 tons of radioactive materials. Ooh. Less radioactive than high-level nuclear waste, but there's also a lot more of it and it's handled way less carefully. Some of this ash is yeah, by filters, cold. Nobody but most cares is simply about pushed cold. back into leaky mines, shoved into piles exposed to the wind, or poured into ponds that regularly spill into rivers and lakes. Living uh... within 1.6 kilometers of an ash pile increases your cancer risk up to 2,000 times over the acceptable limit. And this is on top of other toxic chemicals like heavy metals and, of course, their oh, massive so CO2 cancer is... Wow. And yet, while nuclear That's not good. is formed in its cancer. current form may only be a transitory technology, nuclear power plants are a harder sell than coal. Nuclear waste and the lack of willingness to deal with it are a real issue. It's not insurmountable, though. There are good methods to handle it, like burying it deep underground or reprocessing some of it into new fuel. But oh, that's not my favorite really one, deal with this issue, we hope one thing is clear. Shooting nuclear waste into space is one of the worst ideas ever. Bro, I said this at the little, at the start of like it's the clearest thing to think about. I said this at the start of the video, it's not like I'm not the smartest kid ever, but like that's clear to anybody who has a brain. You shoot something like that. Come on, we have stuff up there, man. You can't, I don't know. I'm not one of the people that ever said to shoot things up the sky. I don't even like rockets, bro. Um, but yeah, uh, let's try to find uh, stuff that eats by, uh, nuclear waste. Is there, cause I'm sure there, they could probably try to like bioengineer some bacteria that can eat that stuff. Cause yeah, there's bacteria that eats plastic. I mean, but we can't really compare plastic, but you get the idea. Researching this crazy thing, conducting all of these important tests, and of course, creating this video, took us around 2,000 hours, which is insane 2, for a YouTube video. That and is. do it without why it's all, you. If you like what all you just saw, quality. you can continue your science journey with one of our products. They're true pieces of Kurzgesagt you can take home and touch. And oh, this guy right there looks like me. All right, uh, I think that's the end of the video. Yeah, I love these. I for, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Kurtz Kazaa, Kurtz Kazaa. I don't know how to pronounce it, man. I don't even. It's I don't know where it came from. But yeah, uh, you guys can clearly see nuclear waste is a no no. Shooting it up is a bigger no no no. So come on, let's not be that dumb. But yeah, if you made it this far, thank you and have a nice day.